Leading Bitcoin higher, global stock markets saw an extremely strong performance on Monday. As covered by News BTC, the Shanghai Composite Index and the FTSE China A50 Index both set new all-time highs on a 6% surge. The S&P 500 followed suit with its own gain, rallying 1.5% from last week's close to Monday's close. Bitcoin and the rest of the cryptocurrency market stood to benefit from this stock market strength. One financial services firm in the cryptocurrency space wrote, yet bears have once again denied the stock market, at least in the US should the correlation between the S&P 500 and Bitcoin hold, this breakdown will negatively affect BTC moving forward. The strength the S&P 500 expressed on Monday quickly turned to weakness on Tuesday. The index slipped 1% lower, failing to surmount the ever-important 3,200 resistance for the umpteenth time in weeks. Analysts say that this reversal at such an important level shows the S&P 500 is trading in a bearish market structure, he shared the chart below conveying the existence of this structure. Bitcoin is unlikely to benefit from this breakdown, multiple analysts have suggested. This bearish sentiment is due to the correlation that has formed between the S&P 500 and BTC. A team of JP Morgan analysts commented in June that since March's crash, cryptocurrencies have traded more like risky assets like equities, a significant change relative to the prior couple of years. Investor Charles Edwards has observed this correlation too. The digital asset manager recently noted how the S&P 500 and Bitcoin trade almost tick for tick in periods of high volatility, uncertainty. Although the S&P 500 is breaking down, Bitcoin still has a number of positive fundamental catalysts. Mike McGlone, a senior commodity strategist at Bloomberg, said that Bitcoin has an increasing number of active users, there's also been a strong increase in a BTC intrinsic value model created by Edwards. The model suggests that Bitcoin is 27% undervalued.